I can't believe I was able to score a ticket to interview you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that introduces us at the Grammys gets a ticket to the show. So oh, that's yeah, right. You, that was a guys... great honor. I got to be the person who announced your category. That yeah. was incredible. Um, what does it feel like to be part of theatrical history? Like, be in something that's so culturally significant? Because you can't go see it without going, I'm seeing something different, truly significant, truly beautiful. Um, it is, you know, just the great joy of our lives to, to be a part of something that is, um, you know, to, to do something that's this big that's actually art. It's just not something that you prepare for when you're, you know, training. You prepare to do big movies, you prepare to do, you know, maybe a big TV show if you're lucky, but to actually get to penetrate the consciousness like this in something that feels like great art is, uh, we're very lucky. And you have an, an, an enormous variety, an incredible variety of people who have fallen in love with this work, and uh, so many people come backstage to say hi to you guys. Is there a pecking order as to who, like, says hi first <laughs> when you go backstage? <laughs> As there kind of is. It happens. Because everybody wants to come backstage and say hi and just yeah. like, just gush. It guys. happens. It was, it's funny. I mean, Tom Hanks was actually one of the very first influential people that came to see the show down at the public. He was just talking backstage because it was just a couple weeks into the run when it first started. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, we, we, none of us really knew what we had. We knew we believed in it. But to have people like that, him and Spike Lee and Shonda Rhimes, and stuff, you know, people coming that were, you know, confirming that this thing was special gave us a lot of confidence. We had down at the public, there was one night, it was Busta Rhymes, Salman Rushdie, and Mandy Patinkin. That runs the gamut. That runs the gamut. You know, really did. It was. So it, who gets, I mean, who gets who to go do you say first? Hi first? Yeah. Well, Bust is big. So. <laughs> like might... big in your heart or large person? Both. Well, you actually, you, you, you had one guest who uh, came to the show a month ago, yeah. and this is um, it's Prince. Who called it the best history class ever? Yeah. You know what? A, what a what a beautiful thing to have an artist of his caliber. What does that What does that mean to you and the other members of the cast to hear that? You know, even even before the sad news of today, to know that someone like Prince, who's been so influential, saw you doing something different. I mean, it's um, it's humbling, and it's you know we we don't take it for granted at all. I remember then he he had a private concert. We got invited the day of this private concert that he was going to give in Harlem. We got invited. It was a secret concert that he gave. He went on at like two in the morning, and he played until like three thirty a.m. And so a bunch of the cast went down to see that, and then he came the next night. And I I mean we saw he sat right in the box with the shades on the whole time. Uh, but it, it meant the world to us. And then Prince didn't come backstage. That He wasn't big on stuff like that. But then we were all waiting to see, did he, you know, did he like it? Did he care about it? And he sent that tweet. So it, uh, we'll never forget stuff like that.